let me uh, run this for a second. So we're going to continue with the third figure. Third figure. Mm -hmm. Which is uh, key, key a D. Hoedown. This is a hoedown called the Soldiers of Joy. Circle right around. Circle right around the other way back. Now all you ladies, now you lead to the right. Swing that jam. Now same lady, now you lead to the next. You lady, you lead to the next. Oh, you ladies, go right back home. Hey, elemental left. Gentlemen, I'll lead to the right. Promenade on. Gent to the right. That's the end of the three numbers. Would you rather have him do the whole square? <laughs> no, no, okay. no, that's funny. I mean, I'd like to keep right. a, a, a more variety of tunes. I don't, I don't think I'm going to try to reconstruct the dances from this. We, I got the dances on tape. Well, okay. maybe not these oldest ones, but I mm -hmm. got those on tape from mm -hmm. the other ones mm -hmm. last night. Mm -hmm. So that was a jig. What was the second part? Uh, second part was... Uh, was that that's what they call a middle change. Middle change the middle and then a hoedown. Then the hoedown was the last one. Mm -hmm. huh. Huh. The, the yep. is like a hoedown, isn't it? Yeah. Is it jig yeah. Is yeah. Yeah. Yep. A jig is a jig, but a hoedown is a, is a four four time, just yeah. like the last one I just played. Now the mm -hmm. Soldier's Joy, that's a real pop, that's a real uh, that's, known tune. That's around. a known tune. Yeah. yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. But your dad played that tune. Yeah. Yeah. And then your the, the other tunes. Well, your dad played those too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, keep mm -hmm. keep. Let's go. Keep going with some of your material from your father, if if we can. Oh, uh, I'll play. I'll play another jig that I learned when I was a kid, mm -hmm. like that. I never knew the name of it mm -hmm. until a, f a fiddler from England came over here back in the early 1880s and worked for IBM. And I got acquainted with him, and he he happened to play that on a this jig on a tape one day, and I says, "Good heavens, what's the name of that jig?" Mm -hmm. Like that. And uh, let's see what was this thing called it again? Though? I can't. It's, it's, You're not talking back about back back through. No, no, no. That's that's a real jig. Yeah. Oh, I don't quite right know offhand. I can't remember. But Billy. I'll play the jig. Play the jig. Maybe I'll think of the name.
and that's terrible. I can't think of the name of it right offhand. So that's one of your father's that's one unnamed tunes. Yeah, it's one of, those, was one of the unnamed tunes that this fellow, fellow did tell me what I did, and I'll think of it yet, and I'll, I'll, I'll tell you what the name of that jig was. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. Somebody said that's senior moments. But that's yes, it is. So. Yes, it is. <laughs> Doc Boyd's jig. There that's the name. Go. I finally remembered it. That's the name of that jig, the last jig that I just played. All right. Mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. Did your father play the acrobat trio too? You yeah. You learned that from your father. I learned this tune from my father uh, when I was a little kid. Never, ever did know the name of it. And here just uh, a very few years ago, Ivan Hicks, a Canadian fiddler, was down to the Raxbury Arts, to the hall that they dedicated to me in 94. And he was down here and him and his wife, Vivian, and they stayed with us after the, uh, the performance at Raxbury Hall. And we had to get together here, and we, I played this tune. And I uh, asked him if he'd ever heard it. And when I played it, he picked his fiddle up and started playing it right along with me. Mm -hmm. I thought, well, then I knew that he knew the tune. So when I got finished playing the tune, I got to ask him what the name of it was. Yeah. And he said it was Acrobat's Reel, like that. And I, yet today, have found, had, have found anybody that can play that tune around here that I know of, like that. But I did, have a, I did read an article where a fellow down around Nashville plays, plays that tune, hmm. like that. Hmm. And, and, and why, these, why some of the other fiddlers around this area and the Adirondacks Never, never played it like that. I don't know, mm -hmm. but it's a, it's a, it's a nice number. It's the key of A. Didn't Ivan say it was one of the oldest? And he says ones? Ivan told me. Ivan Hicks told me he says Hilton. He says that's I think he says it's maybe one or maybe the only oldest fiddle tune there is a gone. Acrobat's real. Great. Mm -hmm. Great. Yeah. If you had it too loud, you want me to turn it down a little bit or not? No, no, okay. this is good. Okay. Yeah. Um. Uh, there's another tune here that I'll play that uh, I'd write offhand. I don't know the name of it. TD.
tunes are dun da da dun da da. Mm -hmm. That's shaving a haircut two bits. <laughs> <laughs> right, all right. Yeah. And that was an old dance tune? That was an old dance tune, yeah. There's just something about it that said yeah. this is a dance tune. Yeah, yeah, yeah they were. Hmm. Yeah. I like that one, too. Here's one that I'll play like that, and uh, I think somebody told us, told me that I never knew the name of it, and I think it's what somebody told me. I think they call it the Star Jig, hmm. and or else it was just the name was just derived from it, because it was a call. There was a call on to it like that, where it's you cross right hands and form a star, mm -hmm. like that. Yeah. have called it the star jig because it was uh, in the during the call on to it like it is cross right hands and form a star mm -hmm. yeah mm -hmm. left hand back the other way back like that you, know, mm -hmm. like you call yeah. that occasionally don't you uh, not, not to have to heaven too often but i should right, i should yeah right. mm -hmm. yeah Well, think of some other uh, early tunes or, or call tunes that you would do, like with your, if you had a dance of like some of your uh, uh, dancers that have been dancing with you for a long time, dances you do, you know, maybe for them. Um, I don't know. You know, just, just. Uh, isn't Darling Nellie Gray one of the oldest tunes? Yeah. I don't know. Did yeah, you, didn't yeah, you do yeah, that? Yeah, uh, Dar didn't Donnie. you do that? The, Last night, though, because mm -hmm. I probably already have that on tape. You've got that already on tape. Yeah. Hey. <clears throat> the red-haired boy. Mm -hmm. That's also known over over in Europe. That's known as the l the little beggar man. Right. The name of it. Right. That was a dance like that. And that dosi ballonade, you more or less kind of uh, 
went around and bowed to the lady mm -hmm. like that, and on the gent counter dance like that, the lady bowed to the gent. That was kind of easy. What's you know. the second called, gents? The Dosi Balanade was the first one. And then the gent, gent counter dance. Counter dance. Gent counter dance, oh, like that. And I don't know, but uh, if you listen to it like that, Dosi Balanade, I wouldn't be a lot of surprised if that was probably in, in French. Balanade? Balanade? Is that it? Well, yeah, Dosi uh -huh. Balanade. Dosi Balanade. Uh -huh. And because in the French, like that, I think the, the, a lot of your, the Dosi, is, some of it is similar right. to our Dosi, like that. Right. But I think, but I think the Dosi Balanade was, I think, was, it's, uh, it's, I've always kind of referred that to as in, in the French language. Maybe not, but. And that's a, ba is a bow figure? Or? It's a, dosi, they call it Dosi Balanade, the way it's pronounced is Dosi Balanade. Right. Or Dosi Balané, whichever you call it, mm -hmm. like that. But that's where the, the the lady bows to the gent, and then he turns around and the gent counter dance, and the I gent bows, bows to her. I yeah. see. Huh, you great. didn't go around the other couple and bow. Is that how they did it or not? No, that's a different call there, okay. I think. I think that's a different call. Okay. Yeah. That's, I forgot just how that goes like that. That's around the corner and take a peek. Oh, that's right. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's where you have to go. Hand goes first couple go to the right. First couple go to the right. Four hands around like that, and I forget even give what's the name. Of the, forget the tune to it too, like that. But you, 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 you go around. The, you keep a hold of hands like that. You bend around like that, and in, in, in other words, bow to your partner behind their, behind their bodies. In other words, yeah, yeah. I forgot how that call even goes, but that's part of it. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. So we were talking like the fireman's dance with Jim. Yeah, they was. Morning. That's right. We're talking about this morning with Jim Kimball at, at the breakfast table. We were talking about a tune called the fireman's dance. We were up to a campsite up here. The Beaver Valley. Beaver Valley campsite up here above Oneonta, yeah. and there was a fellow who showed up there like that, and he wanted to come up and call the square dance. He wanted to come up and call the fireman's dance, and he said to me, "He says you can, he says you can play any tune you want, like that." And uh, so, when he does, when we got ready to play it, uh, I started right in playing the tune to the fireman's dance, like that. Hmm. And he turned around to me, he says, "That's a number, like that." Where'd you learn that? And I said, "Well, I said my dad used to play that, my father and my father did, and Dave Dodd used to play that, and." Uh, they they had a dance. They call they call to it mm -hmm, like that, mm -hmm. and uh, so here goes with the fireman's grant. Uh, yeah, let's see. Uh, started and I'll try to trip you. Oh, you can't. Remember. I'm tr trying to think just how it starts off hand like that. That was a uh, one that was a number that was called to the fireman's dance. Yeah. Is that also called Portland Fancy? Is that similar? No, or not? Uh, Portland Fancy is a different tune. Is it? Yeah, it's a different tune. I can't think. Yeah. I, I can't it's think right tune. offhand how the Portland Fancy goes. Is it? Is this it? No. 
Now that's the rig she killed there. Mm -hmm. That's that's a different tune. Mm -hmm. That's a that's a jig. It's an Irish jig. It's amazing how many tunes yeah. are in our repertoire, and you try to remember all of them, <coughs> the names mm -hmm. of them. Now, now I'll tell you, at, at this age, I've begun to forget some of them do. Now there's some old uh, <laughs> New England line or contra dances like opera reel or money musk or those things. Are they now were those not in your dad's repertoire? Were those outside yeah. tunes? You know. Your father played them, didn't he? Here we go, I think. That's the opera reel. Mm -hmm. And was that an old tune that was played around the Catskills? Yeah. 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 And Money Musk. Mm -hmm. Money Musk and Your Devil's Dream, all like that. I played all of them too. Here's a here's a Money Musk Eve A. That has four parts to it. In other words, four different, uh, four different uh, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. parts to the tune. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. A lot of tunes only have two parts. Sure. Yeah. Just like Devil's Dream, that has four. Parts, Dev so. Devil's Dream. Yeah. That uh, I learned that as a uh, always learned learned that when I was a kid as a uh, as it had two parts to it. Mm -hmm. And that's that's all I think my dad all my dad ever knew it as too. Mm -hmm. But I went down to an old older fellow down below our place up there, down below Beamer's there, about a half a mile from the old Bellis place. And Joe Bellis, he, he was an old time fiddler. And uh, I'd go down there sometimes, you know, to see his son, like that, because we were in school together. Like that, he'd get his fiddle out, he'd say, here, help, play me a tune, will you? No, I'd play him a tune or two like that. Well, he wanted me to play The Devil's Dream, and I played The Devil's Dream, and he said, did you know, he says, that's got four parts to it? Hmm. And I said, no, I didn't know it like that. Hmm. So he took a fiddle and played the four parts to it, hmm. the other two parts to it like that. And I, right after I got through, to, through there with him and his son like that, I jumped on my bicycle on my way back home, and I went in the house, and I shut the living room door like that, and I got the fiddle out and went out in the kitchen, my dad and mother was asleep, or was in bed. They were they were awake yet. Dad said to mother, he says, yeah. He says Joe's showed him a tune. He says he's going to practice it now, so he don't forget it. And that's just what I done mm -hmm. like that. Mm -hmm. And I went out in the kitchen and play, practiced that tune like that, and I've never forgot it. Hmm. Yeah. Do you want to play the four part? Sure, I'll play four. Yeah. I know the two part. <laughs> Thank you. 
Uh, time that, is very important. Yeah. <laughs> we got off on time just a little bit on that there, and I did too. Yeah. Long night last night. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but they do say timing is very important to music. And it, it is. It does make a difference. It is. Mm -hmm. It does. It does. You know that. Mm -hmm. Your brothers, I do. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Matter of fact, I think he's got a mandolin with him. Haven't you? Yes, I do. Yeah. Uh, you know, I uh, I know Red Haired Boy a little bit, but, you know, I'm not practiced the way I used to be. I don't you know. Red Haired Boy. You're, you, well, that's right. You were the already right. played that. You yeah. already played that. Yeah. 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 Okay. Okay. It was. It's funny though. <clears throat> of course, Hilton's father was redhead. Hilton was a redhead. Hmm. The other yeah. guys in the band were redhead, but yeah. now they. That's all. Of that is all. This has changed. All of it has changed. We're gray-haired now. Yeah, <laughs> all of us. Know, he had beautiful curly wavy hair, and he said, "Oh yeah, waved bye bye." My waves went bye bye. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, hair was just as wavy, red and wavy as it could be when, when I was a teenager like that, and was going with her, and we got after we got married. Hmm. Yeah, but the hair did it. Waved bye bye. As well as turning gray. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Uh, I'm trying to think of another tune or two that I can play that Dad's had there. How about the square dance tunes that we have listed? Do you want to look at that? Would that help yeah, us? turn that off there uh, and we'll... Okay. <laughs> Quite a while, like that. Yeah, you know, we're not used to it. Is that the hornpipe? That's uh, that that could be more or less like a reel or a hornpipe. Yeah. Well, is that the Ruskin's hornpipe? No, pipe? that wasn't Emily Ruskin's. What was that? That was uh, what was the name of the? Give me that paper there. I haven't played that in ages. No. Think, this is what you have to use your ear for. That's the call to that is where it's uh, lady in the center and the seven hands around. Hmm. Yeah, the first couple leads to the right, circle four hands around, go on to the next, pick up the other couple, six hands around, on to the last, pick up six, the last one, eight hands around, then lady in the center, and the seven hands around. And then uh, that's the lady, because you have to go around about once like that. Uh, the, the bird flies out, the crow flies in, I join your hands, and I go it again. Yeah, yeah. Emily Ruskin's hornpipe, this is that's this number here. G.
that was Emily Ruskin's <laughs> hornpipe. Yeah. All right. All right. Yeah. Be yours. Okay, so uh, Hilton Kelly and the Sidekicks has three callers in the band, and I don't know if it started out that way or how did that come about. Well, of course, I was the uh, I was the main one of the callers to start with, like that, and then. Don Strauser, as we said before, said, uh, he started with the started playing with us back in the early eight, early eighteen eighty or nineteen eighties, and uh, he he could call call some square dances, and then after Don Strauser joined our organization, two or three years after Don Irwin did, uh, he could call square dances also like that. So we've got th three different square dance callers yeah, in there. Really do you? I don't know where, he, where Don learned. Hey, Don used to play up Which in Don? Strausser. <laughs> Don okay. Strausser. Don Strausser used to play up in uh, uh, up above West Gildall up there. there. Spruston. He used to play up in Spruston up okay. there. And he he used to go up there and play up there, I think, to a, to like a club. Mm -hmm. And so he, I think, learned to call some square dances. And he might have even learned some of them from me. Back when I was playing in West Gill years ago, like that, you know. He's, he's gifted too, more or less. He's like you. oh, he's Very gifted, good. yes. Very good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now Stella was mentioning you about waltzes that your dad must have played waltzes, but mm -hmm. you're having a I can't quite recall. I don't re I don't played. know what I don't know what the waltzes were that he played. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Wasn't the Kelly waltz or anything? Was it? No, like no, no, it wouldn't be that. Well. I can play a, a waltz or two, probably, that he might have played. He might have played them. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I think this is in C. Probably that he might have played over like the that. waves. Over the waves, yeah. 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 Mm hmm. That's a dance call, the Yeah, yeah. Can you do that one? 
First couple, now you lead to the right circle, forehand all the way around. Now you duck for the oyster, you duck for the clam. Now you duck for the home in the happy land, on to the next and the forehand around. Now you duck for the oyster, now you duck for the clam. Hey, a duck for the home in a happy land. Hey, you lead to the next and a four and around. Hey, a duck for the oyster now. Hey, a duck for the clam. Hey, a duck for the home in a happy land. Everybody back to your places all. So your elemental left with a left hand lady and a right to your partner with a grand right and left. Promenade all. Brown jug. Yep. Okay. I have a. Right. Okay. Oh, how's that blackberry reel go? Can't think of it. Jim. I was Norwich. What was his name? Did we Ryan. Went, Jim Ryan. We okay. went over and saw him like that. Yeah. He used to. Is it? Is that it? I don't know. Yours. Might be, might be. I'd have to, I'd have to, I'd have to get a tape somewhere that we got. Maybe mm -hmm. got, possibly got it onto it. I'm sure we do. Then there's a camp town races like that. I forgot, I forgot just how that goes. Captain Jinx, yes. Catskill breakdown. Chicken crowing for midnight. Oh, I never heard of it. Chicken reel. Yeah, I played that. Dad played it. Okay, you want him to play some of the tunes his father played? Coming around the mountain. Right. Yeah. We have the Darling Nelly Ray, mm -hmm. Delaware County Reel. Now that one I don't know. Dulce, Bal Dulce Ballinet, there we are, B-A-L-L-I-N-E-T. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Okay. Duck for the Oyster. Do Rang, Sarn Pipe, yeah. You know that one? I've heard the title, but I don't know it.
Jubilee. The land, land of Jubilee, I think, or the Campbells are coming. Okay. Well, that's what I always know it as. Huh. Hmm? Campbell's are coming or Campbell races, one or the other? Camp Bell Races, I think it is, yes. Yeah. Well, let's hear your Arkansas Traveler, and you said your dad would have played that as, as what? As a third GD. change. Huh? Third change of a square dance? you got that on tape where I give her the last two notes, right? Mm -hmm. So Carson would have played, called this, the first two ladies crossover. Oh yeah, he would have, he would have. is Life on the Ocean Waves. Life on the Ocean Waves, yeah, the name of that tune is the Life on the Ocean Waves. That's about the bottom one right here. Mm -hmm. And up here, uh, up here, a little ways farther, it says, first two ladies cross over. Mm -hmm. the, the first two ladies cross over. Mm -hmm. And it's, 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 to, it's to that tune, to the Life on the Ocean Waves. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. you going to play it? Yeah. And we got... Oh, I'd have to go get that book of a thousand fiddle tunes like that, so, so I could get some of these to the... So that I know which ones is which, like that. So I don't get them. No, I don't get them mixed up. You know, the old mind don't work like it should. Ah, <laughs> uh, there. You're on tape. You want to play the first two ways, Crystal? Yeah, I will in a minute. Okay. I want to look another here some more. Look and see if I see anything more of that. Yeah, here's sashay by your partner, but it doesn't have Mrs. McGregor's washing machine mm -hmm. on it at all. Mm -hmm. Oh, quite a few verses. Then here's another one here, another tune there, they call it the, the Skimmleton. What it is, I don't know. Speed to plow. right over now by the gentleman's stand. The side two ladies you crossed right over now by the gentleman's stand. Oh, it's on her to your corner, salute your partner too. You take the lady on the left and promenade around the hall. The side two ladies you crossed right over now by the gentleman's stand. The head two ladies you crossed right over now by the gentleman's stand. Oh, honor to your corner, salute your partner too. And you take the lady on the left and promenade round the hall. Now the first two gentlemen cross right over now by that lady stand. And the side two gentlemen cross right over now by that lady stand. Oh, honor to your corner, salute your partner too. You take the lady on the left and promenade round the hall.
Now the side two gentlemen you cross right over now by that lady stand. The head two gentlemen cross right over now by that lady stand. Oh, honor to your corner, salute your partner too. You take your own little partner now and promenade round the hall. You element left. Promenade off. That's the first two ladies crossed over. Yep. Yep. No. Yeah. Uh. Wait a minute. Let's see that. Turn that off there. And G G. Mountain horn type. That a little bit there, but that's the mount, that's the way the mountain horn pipe starts off. Yeah, As you that's say, the tune. That's, one. Yeah. Oh, the dance starts off. That's the uh, no, that's the that's the name of the tune, the mountain horn pipe. Right. Yeah. Okay. okay. Now you could play that as the last change into a, into an old square dance, uh -huh. the old style square dance, like my grand dad and my grandfather played. Yeah. Yeah. Do you know how it went, the call to it or not? Oh, it would be all hands around. Okay. You go the other way back, then ladies to the right. All right. Then gents to the right, you know, as they go along, like that, with the yellow man left and the promenade all and the things like that. Mm -hmm. you know, and do it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I remember you used to do that a lot, but there's some of them, the older folks that danced, and they didn't want to swing too much, so he had to cut down doing some of that, you know. Key G. This is when we practice. <laughs> well, it, what it would be, it would be a uh, call to the, uh, to the third change on the square dance. That, I don't know the name of it. No, no, neither. That's one of the tunes that Dad played. Yeah, like that. So that would be one of the old tunes. Yeah, unnamed tunes.
waltz. It's a. Uh, it's a more or less a Canadian. It's a Canadian yeah, waltz. Yes, it is. We used to play that a lot. Remember, yes. Remember the Lisa Lynn waltz? You remember that? We used when you played a contest. We had to make a list up of, of yeah. different tools and yeah. yeah.